Today is Sunday, December the 12th, 2010. I'm going to document, for our pleasure, the old Macintosh MC275, the 75 watt per channel vacuum tube amp, uses solid state rectifiers. I bought this amplifier in 1976, so I've had it all those years. If you look at any of my other videos, you'll see that one of my hobbies is is documenting amplifiers. This is one of many more I still have to do. The output tubes are uh, the Gold Lion made in Russia. They, uh, they're not the uh, uh, Gentle X. Well, they're the Gentle X made in Russia, so they're new issue Gentle X. This is uh, Mullard. This is a Telefunken an RCA. That's a Jan. Uh, another Telefunk in the 12 so another RCA, another Jan. What we've got it, what we're going to be doing is we've got the output right here. The output goes over to a forced air cool set of 200 watt resistors. And we can switch between the outputs between them so that we can look at it on the oscilloscope here. There's our frequency. Let's go up here to uh, a kilohertz. We'll start off at a kilohertz. What we have here is we have a... I'm just going to be using one of these oscillators. This is an old Tektronics SG505 low distortion oscillator. You can use the two... Of, this one's turned off. You can use the two of them together if you want to do uh, intermodulation distortion, but we're just going to do THD. We're going to measure its uh, full output at about a half percent, below one percent. And... Um, and then we'll measure it at its rated power of 75 watts. This is the distortion analyzer itself, and this is the voltage across the 8 ohm load. So we'll be watching it here on an old Tektronics oscilloscope. This is a 485, and there's our, our frequency output. Let's kick it down a little bit. Oops, the wrong way. Not that a few hertz is going to matter, but we'll, we'll try to get reasonable as we can without taking up a whole lot of time. There's our kilohertz. Here's another oscilloscope I like to watch it on sometimes. Our input voltage is regulated, not regulated, but adjustable right here. We'll always run it at 120 volts. I have the uh, switch. There's 115, I mean 117 volt or 125 volt tap on the transformer. I got it on the 117. I'm running it as a twin amp. I got to run the amp uh, the inputs all the way up so that I got enough drive out of here to run it at full power. We're running both channels at once. So let's crank it up. Let's put some uh, let's put some voltage to it and find out. There we go. There's our one kilohertz. There's our distortion. There's our voltage. 75 watts is 24 and a half volts across 8 ohms, so we're going to run this up to 24 and a half at 1 kilohertz. There you go, 24.7, that's close enough. 0.2%. There's our sine wave, that's beautiful, and there's our frequency, 1 kilohertz. Watching it here on this other scope, too. This one right here sometimes can. I can see anomalies in this one that I can't see in the 485, but it really looks good, as you would expect it to at 75 watts. It's maximum output. Let's see if we can get some something there. Let's run this thing up to below 1%. There's a half percent at 26.4. You can do some of the math yourself. Voltage squared divided by 8. At 1%, whoop, there we go. Let's go a little bit below that. That's probably about... As and that's it. We gotta keep our voltage right here at 120. There we go. Now we'll get there. Run this thing up to just under a one percent. Well, that's close enough. Okay, 0.6%, 27 volts. That's one channel. Right here, I'll switch the output to the other channel. The other channel, 26.6 at a half percent. 27, 27 squared. 27 squared, right about 8, 91 watts. 
which is what they do. It'll do full 91 watts at a half percent when it's rated at 75. Well, so let's turn it back down to 24 and a half. There we go. There's our 0.2 percent again. That's the right channel. There's the left channel, 0.15 percent at a kilohertz. Okay, let's go down to 20 hertz. First, we'll go up to 2 kilohertz and then we'll go times 10. And there's our 20. There's 20. There's 24.1 volts. I raise it slightly here. There's 24 and a half. 24.8. That's better than 75 watts. 24.5 squared divided by 8 is 75 at a less than a half percent. That's the left channel. That's the right channel. Does a little bit more. So it does 20 hertz really good. Very good. Now, let's, let's really put this thing to the test. Let's go down to 15 hertz and see where we get about a half percent distortion. Well, there it is, right there. About a half percent at 16 volts. You can do the math yourself. 16 squared divided by 8 is its maximum. There it is, 15 hertz. There's what its sine wave looks like. Looks good. Don't see any anomalies in it. Got it over here. Let's slow this guy down a little bit. No, it's not sinking as well as this one. 15. Okay. Yeah, at a half percent, we still got 16 volts. That's the right channel. There's the left channel. Let's go down to 10. Let's see what happens at 10. There's like 10 hertz. We gotta get our scope to trigger a little bit better here. Well, I'm fumbling now. Well, we won't worry about it too much. There it is, 15.8 volts, almost as good. 0.9%, still under one. That's the left channel. There's the right channel at 1%. 10 hertz. Not bad for, a, for an old amp. If we run it down here to a half percent, let's see if we can get down there to what they like to claim it to be. Cranking the voltage down a little bit here. Whoops, it doesn't want to go any lower now. I have to start all over here. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Half percent's getting getting pretty low in power. But it stays below one percent up to a pretty decent level. We'll call it one percent, about thirteen volts at ten hertz. That's the right channel. There's the left channel. Alright, let's go back up to the kilohertz. Yeah, that should uh, that should make it nice again. There's our thousand and two so now we want to go to um, 20 kilohertz there's our 20,000 I'm going to trim it a little bit 250, 230 we can call that 20 there's a nice looking sine wave Okay, let's go to its 24 and a half volts, so we do it 75 watts, what it's rated at. And see what its distortion is. 24 and a half, point zero eight. wow, nice, huh? With the high frequencies. That was the left channel, this is the right channel, point zero seven at 75 watts. Not much distortion up there, is there? That's pretty impressive. For an old amp like that at 20 kilohertz. Let's just see what it'll do at 25. There's its 25 volts. That's still more than 75 watts. 0.07. 25 kilohertz. Oh, wow, nice looking sine wave. Still does a beautiful job. That's the right channel. There, there's the left channel. 
24.1. Left channel is just a little bit lower. Probably got a little bit less tubes in there. There it is, 24.9, 0.06%. There's the right channel again. Very good. Still holding our voltage at 120. So she's doing really good. Real pleased with it for a uh, amplifier probably. I don't know when this one was made. Like I said, I've had it 34 years and it's been a beauty. I've documented a lot of other tubes and these tubes right here seem to uh, form quite well. The best I can ever remember the old Mac 70 275's doing was just a little over 90 watts per channel and it still does with modern day tubes. All these are, well that's a USA tube, USA, Telefunken, USA, USA, Telefunken and, and Mullard. So that's it. Hope you enjoy these old videos for, of amplifiers.